WPTV News Channel 5 presents Farewell Cal, Job Well Done. Welcome to a most special evening as we bid farewell, a professional farewell to my dear, dear friend, our legendary anchor, the face of WPTV News Channel 5 for the past 36 years, <laughs> Kelly Dunn. What do I always say? The first lady of South Florida television. <laughs> you're news. the first gentleman. I'm, <laughs> if I'm the first lady, you're the first gentleman. Uh, this is all about you and it deserves to be so much so. Because Kelly, when I say you're the first lady of South Florida television news, both in terms of tenure, success, connectivity to this community, you really have had an unparalleled career. Congratulations. You're very, very sweet, Michael. Thank you so much. I have thought about this day yeah. for a long time and wondered what it would feel like on the last day sure. and I don't even know if I can describe it. It's 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 wild that yeah. all of a sudden 36 years yeah. is is over. For a 29 year old 36 yeah, yeah. years goes fast. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Forever sure 29. <laughs> uh, it really has but mm -hmm. but what a career it's been in the arc of your career. So much to mm. talk about here tonight. Yeah well the first day is incredibly memorable to me because it was February 10th, 1986. Yeah. Now, I was two months out of the University of Florida at that yeah. point. I had just graduated in December and then I started in February. And I really had no experience in television. I, I was an anchor yeah. at WUFT yeah. at the University of Florida. And I'm Kelly Dunn. For Jim Randy and all of us here, have a good weekend. And I did an internship with an Orlando television yeah. station one summer. And then I decided to apply for jobs. So I applied for jobs. I actually was turned away by Bill Brooks, the general manager. <laughs> at, on my After my first interview, he said, you're too green, go get some, yeah. go get some um, experience. So I was up in Tallahassee and I was interviewing and someone had quit at Channel 5. So oh. they called me back. Fate brings you back. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So I came back and I was stunned. I was, I was hired as a general assignment reporter. So back then it was, I worked weekend nights and three nights a week and really covered everything. It was, as general assignment means to, to those of you not in the business, you cover any story, whether sure. it's hard news, yeah. whether it's some of the lighter stuff. And uh, it's very interesting as I have been preparing for the retirement to look back on some of those early days. It's a little cringeworthy though to look back on some of the early stuff. So let's just see. <laughs> Kelly, tell us what you know. Well, Jim, right now, things have quieted down substantially in the West Tower here at the Palm Beach County Jail. The child was placed with a West Palm Beach couple who planned to adopt her in good faith. Action News reporter Kelly Dunn joins us live now with the governor via Newsnet 5. Kelly. Hi, Jim. Now, Jim, some people ask, why did it take so long for a patrol like this to develop? But it does take quite a while to organize and to convince people that their neighborhood is safe. Jim? You've got to remember that the nighttime flights, which will be eliminated, are usually the cheaper flights. Uh, Denise, well, the rain has stopped. We hope for good, although it's not guaranteed, as you can tell. There's even a leprechaun floating around here somewhere. Barry? I have to give a major shout out to John Ray, who is the first news director yeah. and of course, general manager Bill Brooks. They are the ones that took a chance on that 22 year old girl <laughs> straight out of the University of Florida. Boy, talk about <laughs> winning the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly did with you. That was a professional marriage made in heaven. It really, it, really was. It, it was, it started off, <laughs> yeah, I had a lot to learn. I had yeah. a lot to learn and I, and I fully admit it. And yeah. I did, which is the beautiful thing about being in one place for so long. But you were quickly developing into somebody who was looking at uh, the gritty stories that not mm. only uh, kept our attention, but made a difference in our community. And six Emmy Awards are a reminder to all of us mm. about the work you were doing that was making a substantial difference in the community. Well, as you know, Michael, it's a collaborative effort when you're working on something in television sure. news and even on the really big, bigger stories in my career, it was it was teamwork in, in many areas. And I have to say that photographer Jim Sitton yeah. was my secret ingredient when it came to winning Emmys and doing really powerful, hard hitting stories. Jim worked with me on, I think, just about every one that I did win in Emmy for and and that's all very exciting and you've won a ton yourself and being up there and accepting the trophy and making the speech it's really exciting but I, I think what has been most impactful to me was knowing that some of the stories that I was able to do really affected someone's life and in one case saved lives yeah. and and I think continues to today it was my first big story uh, seeing red that is about a passionate grandmother yeah. who through the sorrow of losing her grandson embarked on this mission to save children's eyesight and their lives so it was really 
It's an important piece. It can blind a child or take their life if it's not caught early. I love this picture. Making his breakfast and he started to cry a little bit and he said, Grandma, my eye hurts. Joey was three years old when he died with his grandmother by his side. Just watching him play. I miss it terribly. Since that day, Pam has been on a tireless mission to make a specific eye exam mandatory at early pediatric checks. It came around the corner and it was like a gift from God. That chance encounter with then Governor Jeb Bush was more than 20 years ago. House Bill 1117. And Joey's bill, as it was called, never made it to the floor that year. But Pam's constant quest and unwillingness to give up has saved lives, like Jennifer Cruz. This looks like that picture that Kelly Dunn had on her story. And Alexis Paul. It was a comfort zone for him. We met up with Pam recently at Joey's favorite place. It was his domain. The Palm Beach Zoo. I was out there right by Joey's plaque. A place where she would often pass out information about retinoblastoma and the simple photo check. They would show me their little one when they were a toddler and now they are a teenager. And uh, they would tell me that if it wasn't for you, you know, oh, thank God, oh, you know, you did this, you did that. I keep saying, Joey, it's Joey's message. Lives saved. All done. Eye disease is caught. And now, nearly 22 years after Joey's death, a last minute amendment made by the legislature in 2020 creating Joey's law. It does not mandate the dilation and eye exam, but it does require the Department of Health to create pamphlets with information on the exam and give them to new parents right after birth and in postpartum checkups. And the House passed it on March 12th. And I thought, okay. I could feel Joey smiling, and I felt the door has opened. This will be the beginning of a parent not having to say, why didn't somebody tell me? Joey sent me beautiful people to my life that I never would have met if it hadn't been for him. I call them Joey's angels. And Kelly is definitely angel number one. Aw, I think, I think the same about Pam Bergsma. Well, that story is so quintessentially yeah. you, Kelly, and it's why you and I and so many other talented people get into broadcast journalism to make a difference in the community. And fundamentally, you say those are the days you go home and say, you know what, today... Exactly. Today was a good day. Exactly. And you've had a lot of good days. Yeah. And of course, so many lives that you have touched. And I know there's another family. You've talked mm -hmm. to me about this over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, then boy, mm -hmm. Corey Soderman mm -hmm. and his family. Another story that's been impactful for you as much as it was for them all those years ago. Without a doubt. Corey, my buddy, and his beautiful family, we have become very good friends. Corey's life was literally saved by a song, by lyrics to a song. And I remember so clearly when that singer-songwriter, Kenny Loggins, came to meet Corey, meet his family, and then to perform in front of a school full of students. It was absolutely magical. At 32 weeks, his heart did fail, and he was one pound, and they said he would not be physically normal. Uh, we didn't know at what extent, but they knew that he would be one pound, and we would risk my normal son if we chose to save him, but it was our choice to make, and they stepped out of the room and they gave us three minutes. During those three minutes, Stand up and fight. lyrics kept replaying in Wendy's mind. And all I could think of in my head was, this is it. This is your miracle, stand up and fight. And so we saved my miracle. Are you gonna wait for a Corey and Kyle were delivered two months prematurely. Kyle grew at a normal rate, Corey did not. He gets around his wheelchair, he talks with a computer, uh, has a feeding tube, but hanging long enough to get past all that, and you have pure spirit. Yeah, we hang out. <laughs> this day was about much more than a celebrity. Today is proof dreams come true. It's about It was about how music can change lives. There been times in my life. This is it, a song that inspired a school and saved the life of a special child.
And so, all these years later, a family that still very much mm -hmm. remembers Kelly, as you do that <laughs> wonderful family, and a message that we have from Corey oh. Soderman's mom. It was the most incredible relationship uh, without a plan. It was a, 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 new station, a new station supporting someone in the community, not out of favoritism, but as a seed to inspire others. And I, to me, that's perfect. I think that's what local news should do. It was perfect. Oh my gosh, thank you, Wendy. And it's true, yeah. that's, that is what we do. Yeah. That's I think why, that why is why you what, get into this yeah, craft. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. They're just the most amazing people, the most amazing family. I'm so lucky to have gotten to know them over these years. Well, I've always said to Kelly, we connect with people on stories, and most people invite us into their homes to analyze the news, to tell them what's <laughs> going on. I said they invite Kelly in to build a wing to their home and invite her to live. There's no glass, <laughs> as we say in the business, between you and the viewer. Mm -hmm. And clearly your bosses here began to recognize that right away with the work you were doing in the field, but then a meteoric rise onto the anchor desk that, believe me, in this business mm -hmm. that we so love does not happen often but what six months in six months. it happened for you well i you know there was the morning and the noon anchor positions opened up yeah. and of course since i had anchored at the university of florida i thought well let give me a shot oh, this is summer <laughs> of 86. yes summer yeah. of 86. you've only been I, here I was, since february yeah, barely barely knew my way yeah. around the building and so i auditioned for it and literally i could not have been more shocked <laughs> that that they chose me it, it was scary it was it was daunting <laughs> but I will say the first day on the set and I was paired with Kent Earhart I truly as I sit here Michael if I had not been paired with Kent on that day wow. for many years I promise you I would not have had the success I had today because Kent was so patient so kind so understanding wow. I was so new and it took me a while to kind of learn things, but we got into a groove and for 13 years, we had an amazing run. This is Action 5 News, the morning update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kelly Dunn, and I bet you're going to say that we are going to need some umbrellas today. This afternoon. This afternoon. The time is now 10 before 7. It's time for sports with you. As you Sport, with me, Kent Earhart. <laughs> Just like yesterday. Just like yesterday okay. and the day before. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming a routine pattern. What can we say? We have some other special people watching. My dad. Your dad's watching? Dad. Oh, you're not allowed He's to say a, yes, personal I hello. I certainly am. If we hello, were, dad. we'd say hello, dad. He Weather and sports. Your sister-in-law is watching? <laughs> we have to say hi to her? We yeah, can't we do that. Say. How do you spell severance? <laughs> We're having some fun this morning. Mm -hmm. We have couches for you to relax. That's right, on, a little R and R. Watch area. TV. Your yeah. favorite TV personalities will be there, including and Ken. so will Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never laughed so hard my whole career <laughs> than with Kent Earhart. He always said he just added water to me, and I was an instant audience. But hey, you know what? I thought he was hilarious, so we had a good time. Instant chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Although I, I must true. say, for all of us anchors who've had a chance to work with Kelly in any capacity, uh, it's been instant chemistry because of her. Because I, I say, if you don't like Kelly Dunn, love Kelly Dunn, <laughs> <laughs> you need to go look in the mirror. Uh, you're that much fun to work with. You're uh, that you're so gracious to work with, and that was wonderful. And you've talked about him oh, yes. so much over the years. Adore Kent. And, but even on the anchor desk, which consumes a lot of time, a lot sure. of energy, a lot of focus, you still had that hunger through your whole career, I might add, to be in the field. Mm -hmm. And your boss came up with a vehicle that really ended up suiting you wonderfully. He really did. It was the news director, John Ray. Yeah. And, and he wanted me to stay connected to the community. Sure. He wanted me to stay, well, to continue to learn yeah. how to report because yeah. I was so new at it. So he came up with Kelly's Heroes, yeah. a weekly feature, yeah. mainly focused on volunteers, people who did yeah. extraordinary things out in the community. And I did Heroes for about 15 years. Wow. Let's go back and look at a few that I've programmed profiled and we'll end with one woman who had a profound lasting impact on my family and also on my family's. Okay, let's go. His students call him Mr. Mac. George McGrory volunteered teaching golf to disadvantaged children. Every time they give me a smile. And that's the truth. More than a new skill, it gave them confidence. Keep my eye on the ball, right? Yeah. Oh. Something I could have used when the pressure was on. Well, I guess I'll stick to putt-putt. And they're real good friends. I'll never forget Lil and Ray Mathias of Green Acres. I can't talk about the kids too much because I get emotional. <laughs> Four days a week, this couple welcomed about 40 neighborhood latchkey children into their home for an after-school snack 
and cool drinks. Lupita Sosa. Adela Rivas devoted her time to helping area migrant workers. Adela started delivering food to just four families. Eight years later, she's expanded in delivering toys and other household items. She now helps over 200 families, not including those in Belle Glade and Pahokee. You ready? You all good? All right, you want to get down? Emergency room nurse by night, foster mom by day. If we don't do something with them now, what are we going to do with them? Rowena Young's fostered more than a dozen local children and had plenty of love to give. He'll always be in my life. Mom Terry Moran started a children's cancer foundation named after her son. Even though the child kind of ran and his, that his life didn't last. His legacy is, is just going to go on and on and on. And it began literally that day. In 1988, I featured Mary Weiss, who founded the Palm Beach County chapter of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Her three sons were all born with the genetic disease. One of her boys coined the phrase 65 roses, which is used to this day. And I realized that in his mind, cystic fibrosis sounded like 65 roses. Three months after I featured Mary as my hero, my nephew Matthew was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. My first call was to Mary Weiss. I'm Kelly Dunn, and this is my nephew, Matthew. For 20 years, Matthew joined me in public service announcements on WPTV to help raise awareness about CF. Take the time to care. And asking you to help me and my Aunt Kelly raise money for cystic fibrosis research. One year after this taping, Matthew lost his fight with cystic fibrosis. He was 21. We said goodbye to Mary in 2016. There was no greater advocate for CF families than this incredible woman. Her memory lives on. I look forward to the day that cystic fibrosis will be relegated to the history books, but children and roses will continue to bloom. That's my dream. Hi, Kelly. When I first hired you in 1986, right out of the University of Florida, I knew you were going to be a great addition to the WPTV team. But given how transient news jobs are, I'm amazed that 36 years later, you're still there. Congratulations on an amazing career and a well-deserved retirement. Hey, everybody. It's Kent Earhart. I was a weatherman down at Channel 5 in the 80s and 90s, worked with Kelly. Kelly, I don't even know what to say. Uh, girl, I love you like a sister. You know that. Kids still refer to you as Aunt Kelly, best partner I ever worked with. So proud of your career and glad that you're going to be able to retire and enjoy life and have some regular hours. Love you. Keep in touch. WPTV News Channel 5 presents Farewell Cal, Job Well Done. We are back with our farewell to Kelly Dunn, 36 <laughs> years after you began. I beg her to stick around, but I know where she's moving. So <laughs> while I'm sad to see you go professionally, I know exactly where to find you. And we talk about just, uh, you know, I, I think one of the things that we talk about, uh, both off camera a lot, yep. you and I, you grew up with this community. As this community was really starting to grow fast, you were growing exactly. up with it. And, and it also was a different time yeah. in television. Sure. Television has changed a lot. Oh, yeah. Television news has changed a lot over 36 years. I have so many great memories that have been flooding back and as we've been looking at all this yeah. old tape and it's remembering things that happened, I think some of the most fun times we had were when we literally took the show on the road. Yeah. And back in the day, you did. Yeah. I mean, with big satellite trucks and full crews, sure. and it was a big ordeal to do it, so it was something important. But uh, one show that comes to mind, um, first and foremost, we had this incredible, spunky producer named Tony May, who <laughs> on the noon show- Know and, her well. Uh, uh, know her yeah. well, exactly. I've known her for quite a few years. And she decided that we ought to do a live noon show from a cruise ship in international waters off the coast of Palm Beach County. It, we made it happen. <laughs> Happen. It was a live newscast. Wow. We had gone to Bahamas a couple weeks before that and did stories that, oh gee, that was heavy lifting. So the cruise ship uh, show was a blast. Yeah. The South Florida Fair has been oh, huge, that was a huge my, deal. my yeah. whole career. It was really a way for us to get in front of people and to really be with the viewers way before social media. Of and you go to places like City Place. And again, yeah. you watch this community grow up, City Place, which is no longer named City Place, of course, here in West Palm Beach, but you, you watch different parts of this community literally grow with oh, you absolutely. and your career. I know it. I remember um, Willard Scott was tapped to come down and do live shots right. for, for the Today Show from the South Florida Fair in 1986. I had just become an anchor. Right. Three, <laughs> two, 
What? Huh. Hey, South Florida. And Kent and I were um, asked to be in the cut-ins. Go to West Palm Beach, Florida again, where Willard Scott's going to explain what's going on. Mr. Scott. I mean, hello, big deal yeah. for my family that yeah. I was going to be on national TV. With Willard Scott, and it, with today's Willard show Scott. fame. He was so amazing, so genuine, so hilarious. You never got jaded about, oh, I'm talking to celebrities. And Willard is a great jump-off point to some of the other celebrities you got to meet over the years. We tried to get one of them, George Clooney, here. Couldn't make it. <laughs> you had to settle for me. But you had a lot of fun with some big-name interviews. You've got to remember that before social media and before the internet, it was harder to get all of the information and all the excitement out about all of this, all of these new shows. So let's take a look back at that. It really was a lot of fun. <laughs> Do you feel like a sex symbol? Yeah, right now especially. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of warm in certain areas. I don't really want to talk about that. There was no bigger star in NBC's must-see TV lineup. ER was a hit. Sometimes these scenes can take an entire day. And I was on set with George Clooney. You're going to talk to us, right? No. Yes, of course I'm going to talk to you. You'll shoot the scene and I'll come. Oh, good. good. George Clooney. Also, while in Los Angeles. And now, Jay oh, Come on, I'm going to take you inside. Full access before, during, and after The Tonight Show. With Conan O'Brien. When Conan O'Brien was chosen to replace Jay Leno, he stopped by WPTV. And staying on the late night host theme, Jimmy Fallon. You join us each and From The Tonight Show to The Today Show. I like you better, I like you better. <laughs> no one was nicer than the late Willard Scott. Genuine, hilarious. Today on 5 at 6.30, followed by Today at 7. We also went to 30 Rock for promos with Jane Pauley, Bryant Gumbel, and Tom Brokaw. Like sands through the hourglass. This is the wardrobe stock room for all the actors and actresses on Days of Our Lives. The always glamorous Deidre Hall actually grew up in Lake Worth Beach. Are you expecting me to, to reveal something? No, I mean, <laughs> they're not a wig, are they? <laughs> Gloria and Emilio Estefan welcomed me to their new resort, Costa de Este, and talked about their love of Vero Beach. Thank you, Kelly. Very nice to meet you. I interviewed Garth Brooks twice via satellite and even got him to sing. Oh, and now I'm glad I didn't know. The way it all would end, the way it all would go. I love that song. Ah, so do I. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Dunn, live in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Rosie O'Donnell brought her talk show on the road to Orlando, as did Ellen DeGeneres. Dancing started as a joke. And here's Rachel Ray. Are you the same now uh, as you were before you became famous? Sure. Yeah, same just, person. Uh, unfortunately, just as loud. But there was no one more famous than Oprah. I'm Kelly Dunn here on the set of the Oprah Winfrey Show. And we're going to give Kelly the, the, the grand, grand tour. tour. That's yeah. what we're going to do. <laughs> it was 1994, and Oprah had just lost 80 pounds. Still my abs. Still my abs. Go ahead. We talked Tight. about the drawbacks of being so approachable. They say, hey, Oprah, give me some money. <laughs> yeah, really. Do they do get bombarded? Yeah, I do get you bombarded. Must. I was in Walgreens the other day, and somebody said, hey, I'm Reverend. I'm Reverend. I'm Reverend. I need a thousand dollars. Excuse me, sir. I'm just here getting some carry lotion. Sorry. I absolutely loved every minute with Oprah. That was about a half hour interview. She was so gracious, so funny, uh, so giving with her time. 1994, I'll never forget it. Gracious, funny, classy <laughs> reminds me of somebody we all know right here. <laughs> Little did you know, know that coming to PTV, you'd meet the love of your life. I know. I remember the days I laid eyes on him. And I said, <laughs> who is that? And it was John Perez. Yeah. And he was finishing up college. I was just. Yeah finished with college, and he was working at WPTV in a variety of, of, yeah. of capacities and was uh, working in production when I started anchoring in the morning show, and we all would go out and go out dancing after yeah. after work on weekends, sure. etc. and so we all went out, we started dating, and four years later, here we go, <laughs> we're walking down the aisle in Daytona Beach, and I swear, most of the staff from Channel 5, from Bill Brooks on down, everybody was there. Oh. It was like the, the most wonderful yeah. day. 
and of course really is a TV family uh, it really yeah. really is and back then of course, I keep going back to no internet no social media but of course that was on TV sure. I mean you know Jim Sackett introduced it and everybody still to this day I remember when you got married. but you were happy to share that oh, too. Yeah, and yeah. It, it back really then people it, related it, it to this did. wonderful it, unique genuine lady you, you it drew them into your life yeah. a little bit yeah. in a way that you couldn't otherwise so three years later Jonathan was born <laughs> um. and two years Years after that, Christina, and you know, it'd be hours after I had given birth, and the camera was in there getting oh. ready to get some footage and it, tell to the world that hello, yeah. they've arrived because I was two weeks late on both kids, wow. so everybody was on baby watch up sure. until the end yeah. trying to yeah. figure out when's she going to pop. Come on, so it was it was just a great time, and the kids, I mean, they were. You know, yeah. this was like a second home. Sure. They were here so often. Oh, Jonathan, he <laughs> loves cooking my yeah. And I love the perks of being a mom working in television because if Cookie Monster was in town <laughs> or Disney characters, then the kids could come, come in down. and be part of the yeah. interviews or we'd have their classes in oh, yeah. and they'd be able to watch behind the scenes, watch the noon show. Yeah. So, it's so been fun. it was great. Uh, and I've gotten to watch them grow up for the last 11 years, which has been a lot of fun too. Exactly. And what, three months after you started, yeah. you and I were both up at FSU yeah. at orientation with my Jonathan and your Allie yeah. starting school. Yeah. So we had that natural connection and you've just become the biggest part of our, yeah. our family. Well, and the cherry on pr top. Pr pretty easy to do, I mean, well, it's such a beautiful but family. But let me tell you something. Alyssa, Jonathan. You officiating Jonathan. my son's wedding last oh, December, wow. one of the highlights of our oh, life, wow. Michael. It was oh, wow. most beautiful. We adore your family well, and adore you. It was <laughs> the most nervous I've ever, ever been in well, public. I've interviewed <laughs> political you, candidates you all the way brilliant. up to Washington and back <laughs> and you name it, but I'm like, I'm officiating a wedding. It was. It was a beautiful moment for a beautiful family. It was magnificent. Anyway, it was, it was one of my highlights. <laughs> and having said all that, we will be back with more on our lifestyle expert. You'll hear more about that <laughs> in just a moment. Well, finally, Kelly, you are done. This is your oldest friend in broadcasting, Paul Castronovo, saying one thing. I thought we were going out together. We'll miss you. I love you. Go Gators. Oh, Kelly, congratulations. I am so happy for you, and you deserve every minute of it. But you know you're more than just a wonderful colleague. We've shared everything from garage sales to Thanksgiving dinners to Bloody Marys in the hot tub. So I just can't thank you enough for being just one of my very best friends. And all the things we've shared at work and out of work, you're just the best friend to have around. Love you. Will Kelly Dunn be missed in this television market? Absolutely. She has been so prominent and so professional in her job that you can't say anything else, but Kelly Dunn is going to be missed a lot. Oh, Jim. <laughs> I'll second that. <laughs> so, so sweet. Love you, Jim Sackett. Oh, uh, my gosh, the best. One Just of the, the best. great broadcasters and gentlemen yes. in this business ever. And he retired after 34 years, yeah. so I got him by two. I'm proud to carry on the tradition of excellence that you started. Adored uh, working with Jim from, from day one. Yeah. He, he was so gracious and wonderful to me my entire career. A station lucky yeah. to have a Jim Sackett, yeah. a Kelly oh, Dunn, oh. in its history. And also lucky, by the way, as many of us found out on air and off to have a lifestyle expert. So whenever you had a question or still do, <laughs> this is the one to go to. Decorating your home is a lot like fashion. I've learned a lot, especially in my noon days. We had a design patrol segment every Monday that was a decorating segment. I've learned so much, yeah. but from my job, it's yeah. been great. And had a wonderful opportunity, just one of the highlights. In 2002, there was a two week break in programming for for Channel 5 and sure. our daytime schedule. There was a show that was about to start and we had this two weeks where there was nothing airing at 3 p.m. Okay. for an hour okay. before Oprah. And so went to the news director, Peter Rogar, and said, can I do a show? I, I'd, I'd love to do a show. <laughs> oh, and again, I was oh, I my it. cohort in crime, Tony May. We brought her in and said, hey, let's plan sure. and produce two weeks of the afternoon show. There's the Today Show, 
the Tonight Show, and then we had yeah. the afternoon show. Which is no easy so, thing to do. It is a lot of no fun, easy but no thing. easy it's thing to do. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Every anchor was involved in yeah. some way, shape, or form. We had all of our popular segments, oh, wow. designing, of course, and food, and authors, and doctors, and vets, and we did everything, and it was an absolute blast. It was yeah. exhausting, but I truly, truly loved it. Always wanted my own show, and I had it for two weeks. Well, uh, Channel 5 became uh, your professional uh, mm -hmm. canvas upon which to paint uh, all the dreams you had about reporting anchoring your, your own broadcast and about 20 years in you were about 20 years into your history mm -hmm. uh, that would have already been a full prosperous wonderful career for many but that really became at about 06 time frame a real pivot point for right. you in your career and with it came a lot of choices not all, all of them a lot of fun mm -hmm. but not always easy from that personal life perspective it's really true I I was very happy with my noon and five o'clock schedule. Mm -hmm. I, I worked days yeah. for 21 years sure. of my career. And did your which reporting, is did your travel? Exactly, which years? is unheard yeah. of. And I was there in the morning with the kids. I was I was there at night. And then in 2007, okay. management came to me and said, we'd like you to move to nights wow. and do the 6 and the 11. Yeah. I'd never ever wanted to do that, knowing I'd sacrifice so much time with the kids. Sure. So it was a big decision time for our family. I could not have done it, would not have happened, had it not been for my husband, John. Because here, I was going to be embarking yeah. on a schedule that did not allow me to be there at night. He would have to be the homework guy. I was kind of happy about getting um, out of that, that duty. duty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, math, not, not such a strong point. But but we we had a lot of tough conversations, and, and he realized that it was going to be very important to my career and it turned out it was very important to my career to make that move and it was there were sacrifices the the kids were only in middle school fifth and seventh grade mm -hmm. and they they did so well uh, and I'm so mm -hmm. proud of how they adjusted yeah. I would only go home for dinner once a week mm -hmm. I'd scoot in between the shows tried to go to sporting events or performances if I could on certain nights and you always had to worry about breaking yeah. news so we did the best we could. I had in-laws locally that helped a lot, but it was it was a sacrifice, but it was the right decision yeah. for me. It was the right decision for our family, and um, the sleep has, was a tough part, I will say. The sleep was a tough part. <laughs> Balancing it all was yeah. a tough part, but it's nothing more than what all working parents do yeah. to this very day. Beautiful part of the story, and we've been lucky it, to have you with the night yeah, audience for a long, long exactly. time. All of our audiences. It, it's, it's, it's been a blessing. It really was wonderful. Well, uh, by the way, some more moments, some more special farewells for you, and then we'll be back with more of our coverage in a moment. Hi Kelly, Jim Handley here, going old school for you. Typewriters, those big clunky tapes, and no cell phones. And just how is it that you haven't aged a day since the 80s? You have that rare gift of making everyone feel like you're their best friend. Always such a natural. You've always been the ultimate pro. South Florida won't be the same without you. I am so happy for you and John and your next adventure in beautiful North Carolina. Congrats, Kelly. Happy retirement, Kelly. Few have served the community so long, so well, and with such effortless class. Amazing anchor, without question. Extraordinary person, you bet. Enjoy that retirement, you have earned it, and you will be missed. WPTV News Channel 5 presents Farewell Cal, job well done. To me, Kelly, one of the highest marks of professionalism is somebody who makes everybody around them better. And for 36 years, you've done that. You certainly mm -hmm. elevated me in ways that I thank you for, uh, both in terms of my work here, my introduction to this community after I came here from Miami. And I know every person who's ever worked with you, both anchors, reporters, APs, <laughs> uh, directors, producers, assignment desk managers say, Kelly made us better. And on the anchor desk, there's nothing more important, but really, newsroom-wide, there's nothing more important. You have been a true leader here. Well, it, it literally is a symphony, and everybody yeah. has a job in a newsroom and to put a newscast on the air. And I, speaking from an anchor perspective, when you trust the person that is sitting next to you, when you know they have your back no matter what, when you're doing breaking news and you're ad-libbing and getting very little information, Communications knocked out. You're already right. having people asking you about loved ones. They can't reach there. That person is so important and that chemistry and that teamwork. And I have just been blessed from day one. Kent Earhart, John Favoli, Jim Sackett, Chandra Bill, 
Shannon Cake, you of course, yeah. and the the kind of yin and yang and the the separate life experiences that you both bring, it's just incredible when it works well, it's absolutely amazing. Because when you're out here and there's big breaking news, and of course in the field with our wonderful photographers, I don't yeah. want to say group, I'm like both times, <laughs> they know how much I love them and how much you do. but. There's so much coming at you. You have to be able to count on that person yeah, to yeah, know what you don't true. know and to almost instinctively mm -hmm. fill in the gaps or to make you have that aha moment that takes you to the next spot. Perhaps mm -hmm. nowhere are you in the crucible more than during major hurricane coverage, and you certainly have covered your share of them here. Right, conditions are starting to change in St. Lucie County, even some dealing with some localized flooding. You know, growing up in Florida, I don't ever remember hurricanes. I mean, Andrew, yeah. uh, of course, put hurricanes yeah, on the map too. in the state yeah. of Florida. Of course, you were down in Miami, but it was it was Francis and Jean yeah. that really woke us up, up here. And I remember being so frightened, especially with Francis, mm. because one had not had a direct hit here. And the thing I think for people at home to realize when a warning is issued, we all come in, bring the sleeping bags, the pillows, all that. We're here for the duration. We say goodbye to our kids, goodbye to our families, goodbye to our houses, goodbye to yeah. all of that. And and you're sitting here in this wonderful building, very protected in a bubble, in air conditioning with Wi-Fi, and you're worried about everybody at yeah. home. So it's it's a it's such a stressful and emotional time. And then yeah. it's after the storm, will the power be on? How is everybody? How is the house? It's it's an, just an unbelievable experience. And I hope we're calm for you when we're on the air. I know we are when we've been on the air guiding you through it. But we're a jumble of, of nerves ourselves. I, really I think everybody, it. you at home and we hear you're exhausted at the end of it because we walk through the storm uh, emotionally and physically mm -hmm. sometimes with you. But I, one thing I want to say, Kelly, it's, I've always marveled about this with your anchoring. You always ask, uh, no matter how many big stories we've been on, I say, why didn't I ask that? You have a way of <laughs> distilling for the viewer the most essential question that's both uh, uh, imperative, emotionally, and substantially. There's no glass between you and the viewer. There's not. You're in their home, living with them. They invite us there. <laughs> I want to they redecorate built for, for her. I'll go put up a Christmas tree yeah. for her. Yeah. At any rate, <laughs> what a pleasure for all of us over Thank the years. You. We'll have a bit more, in fact, a lot more, <laughs> coming up after the break. Kelly, congratulations on your illustrious career at News Channel 5. But we know your first love is really News 5 in Gainesville. And your favorite anchor who didn't wear any pants. Well, at least I wore shorts. And let's not forget our final sign-off together when I said I was off to Spuds, Idaho. Actually, appropriately enough, I ended up here in the swamp. So go Gators, go Kelly, you're done. Kelly, Andy Trier, wow, congratulations on your retirement. What a place to be, a long way from Channel 5 and WRUF in Gainesville, Florida. Anyway, have an awesome retirement and go Gators. WPTV News Channel 5 presents Farewell Cal, Job Well Done. Michael, I have to say thank you so much. It's oh. so fun to, to reminisce and to, oh. to go back to the old days, and you've been so gracious wow. as always. We have to bring up something that everybody has talked to me <laughs> okay. about throughout my 36 years, right. and that would be hair. <laughs> hair gets attention like no one else's business, and let me tell you, I could tease some hair and Aquanet was my best friend back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, for those of you at home, we've all always done our own makeup, our own hair, bought our own clothes, right. all of that. And it has been an interesting um, trip down memory lane <laughs> when I see how big the hair, ha I think I had a, a red face at one point. We had that standard anchor bob yeah. and it, it's, it's just been hilarious. Scarves, I was also very big on scarves. I don't know, I could tie them every which way and, and they went with all of my casual corner suits and um, shoulder pads. Those were another thing, the bigger the better, as well as like the earrings that look like there were satellite dishes on your ears. I so, know some of your biggest so laughs fun. and groans sometimes. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, they're like, oh uh, boy. <laughs> any age, any fashion, elegant and eloquent as always. Thank you. You know, it's been such a fun trip down memory lane yes. with you and you're not gonna wanna miss our next segment. We've been going down memory lane, but now we're gonna bring memory lane to the WPTV studio. That's coming up right after the break. Please stay with us.
What a treat for me as I stand here and introduce not one, not two, but three of the icons of news in all of South Florida. John Favoli, who you know well, dapper as always. <laughs> Kelly, we've talked about, and Jim Sackett, looking very dapper with his beard. And Kelly, we're glad your hairstyles oh, changed. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 are you push, doing, push Kent? Oh, Kent Earhart from St. Louis, who she had no Look idea was guys. coming. <laughs> what a trickster you turned we out to be. We were just talking yeah. about. I asked her. I said, "Kent coming down. We can't." I just said, "I just said, Kent can't." Couldn't come down. Oh, oh my! Nice to see you. Oh We're gonna my. have to make some changes around yeah. here. Yeah, oh, they keep on this changing the set. This is not my palette. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you, buddy? Oh Good to my. see you. Good to wow. see you. Oh my! <laughs> are you surprised? Here, Sackett had a speech Done. already, and now. Done. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh, thank you, Ken. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> and everybody, Roxanne's here. Big Denise surprise. Jakehouse is out here. Oh my gosh, all these. You're shaking. I can't. <laughs> I'm, cherry, I'm just. Cherry on the cake now. Well, let me talk for a second and yes. just say that that one. one See, thing, that's a shocker. No, 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 no. Because one thing, one thing in all seriousness that we don't want to miss here is uh, we lost Joe Naples last yes. week, and Joe was yes. a big part of that yes. family. Big director. Our, our yes. early yes. days, um, yes. and and we miss him dearly. And yeah. and mm -hmm. I know some of his friends or family are probably watching. Yeah. And we just want to yeah. send out prayers and and all the good stuff. <laughs> That's right. Well I think played. it's so funny that you think I would not have been here for some reason. <laughs> well, I, I you understand. Have to understand. I, I didn't think my family would be here and they, they brought them all into the... You have to understand, like, this what? is a ratings period and nobody, <laughs> nobody gets a day off. So I did my morning show in St. Louis this morning and when I finished, I literally walked off the set, oh. got on a plane, Got here, Tim picked me up at the airport. Oh my what a great gosh. surprise. And oh we walked in the That's door. Great. And here great. I thought we were going to have really, what were we going to talk about yeah. for four and a half minutes? Well, look who's here. We're, we're good. 30, 30 seconds before you, I, I asked Kelly, I said, Kent can't make it. And he's, no, he's, he may have had COVID, so he's going to. Well, I did have COVID, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so, but I think uh, by now we all everybody have. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, what a my surprise. gosh. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'll gosh. tell you, I'll tell you a quick story. Seeing John Ray in that video yes. was really great. And yes. I remember the day that, that they said, we're going to give this Kelly Dunn a chance. And she had, at that time, the worst hair. And, well, obviously, and we, we got you that saw the pictures. Fixed, and, and ever since then, it's been signature. And, and, but we got our first ratings back. And do you remember him coming to, I remember him coming to us and saying, we can actually sell this now because mornings were a throwaway back yeah, then. Yeah, they were. And we can actually make money with you guys right now. Yeah. And that was, that and was look the, what happened. And it was yeah. all about uh, exactly. this one. How long no. did you two work together in the mornings? Thir well, mm. mornings were only four years. Yeah, I, and then I was we went on, to and noon and five. And it was a half hour back then? Yeah. Half oh, mor mornings were 6.30 it, to 7. And then it became that 6 was, to yeah. 7 and then right. on and on. Then yeah. when Roxanne and I, you know, kind of took over the mornings, it became... Two a and behemoth. Half hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, it really did. You throw a fox into the mix. It was four and a half. Exactly. Hours. It was a, a lot of news coverage. How you doing, Jimmy? Oh I'm my! Doing great. You look great. You look, great. You look fantastic. Yeah. Wow. So Kelly Dunn. I'm just have, blown uh, away. You have a legacy at Channel Five. Yes, you do. A great legacy. Yeah. Embrace it. You know. I know. It, sometimes it feels weird when you're the one. It it's does. your turn now. I know. You know. So good for you. I mean, we did it little by little. We stepped away, and you can do it too. And Godspeed and good luck in North Carolina. Oh my God! This area is going to miss you. It's going to, oh. you know, it, it, it can't help but miss this you. This area was blessed years. to have yes. you to, be, to begin Absolutely. with. I don't think having moved on and and my heart is still here. At the, look at just you see the. I got Your channel, channel five, five nice, ten. nice, nice. But channel five but ten. you travel around to other communities. I don't think people realize how well served they are by this station number one. Right. And especially to have the pivot point right here, and 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 it, and I don't. There's no reason for me to make that up. It's it's the absolute truth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna photo bomb because I'll leave it to the newbie. <laughs> you know you're a newbie around broadcasting icons. When after 11 <laughs> years you're the new kid, <laughs> the only guy who can take a rap apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, the they're, and they're wrapping us rap. now. <laughs> and they're wrapping us now. Broadcast excellence from left to right. Jim Sackett, Kelly, Kent. Thank you pleasure guys to meet so you, much. John. Thank you. Good to and see we'll you. be back with this lovely lady. Final thoughts. We'll have a few more join us too. I think yeah, there's right. room at the desk. That's right. Oh. You know, it's a blessed day when I'm hugging one of Kelly's sisters, a Seminole, as a guy in the little gator. <laughs> Kelly, as you have families, most particularly Jonathan and Christina, and we salute Jonathan Jr., who is serving in the U.S. Army proudly, so all of us salute him. 
We want you to take it away. The anchor desk is yours. I can only say, whether listening to all these gentlemen, listening to your family and friends over the years, the constant has always been your joy, your passion, your caring, empathy. You don't have the success Kelly Dunn had for 36 years unless you are genuine, unless you're talented, unless you care about your community with a deep and abiding passion. And for all of that, her greatest passion of all is the love she puts into her family. So in this final moment of a final great day with so many great people around, come on in here. Oh Kelly, yes. as always, the desk is yours. I, I, I'm so absolutely flabbergasted by all of this. I, I can't thank all of you enough for being my life. Hang in there. You got the I got words it. To I say. got it. Um, it's it's just um, the most amazing thing to know your love, to love so many people, to feel that coming back at you from um, those out, the, our viewers, and everybody. This station is a family. It always has been, and you've seen all of that proof tonight. And it has been so much fun through the hard stories the the lighter hearted stories all the fun we had so much fun for all these years and absolutely i i treasure every moment moment of it i am blessed beyond with my family john my husband my brother wes my mom maggie christina my daughter chrissy my sister julie my sister and all my other relatives who just are have been my my rocks and my supporters for all these years you don't you don't achieve anything in life without someone lifting you up. And I was lifted up throughout my, my childhood and in my early adult years. And then I came here. And, and all of these people have helped me become what I am today. And I deeply appreciate it. I deeply appreciate all of the opportunities that I've been given at this station. I don't take it lightly. Those of us who sit in seats at an anchor desk know how privileged we are to have those jobs. And it's an awesome responsibility. And I hope we did you proud. I know we did because I'm proud of all of these people and everybody who's contributed to Channel 5 over its long history. And it'll, it's, this is, my life. Um, I mean, how crazy was I? I was 22, and now I'm I'm walking out. And now you're uh, <laughs> 29. 27. Yeah. 27. <laughs> Math was never my strong point, so let's not go there. Um, but it what a, what a blessing. I love you all. Thank you. There are dozens of people behind the cameras. And are you ready for another 36? Uh, <laughs> in North Carolina, I sure am. Absolutely. We leave. Saturday. Right. So, I mean, we're packing up and we're going. This is a dream come true. This has been a dream come true. I can't thank PTV enough from Brian Lawler on down to Bill Siegel, our GM now, Tony May for doing all of the yeah. producing yeah. behind this. Yeah. Alex yeah. Hagan. And, and I still got to lean in and give even you a wrap. Okay. And thank you at home. Thank you at home for loving me and watching. And we'll see you.